Alright, ready. ready for a little welding here. Clamp it and then uh, see how the welding goes. See that it fits pretty tight now, kind of in place there. So I'm going to use the same trick over here. I'll go over to this vise here. You see, it's just a you know, it's just a convenient way to hold stuff like that. Kind of sometimes you need a double clamping arrangement here. And then I'm just going to put my ground clamp right on here. This is my little lightweight ground clamp for light welding projects like that. So I should be able to just get right in there and weld that and uh, give it a go. around with anything else unless there's an access problem. These just give you a superior uh, gas coverage um, that allows you to stick the tungsten out you know pretty far like that and actually get into a corner if you have to. Uh, most of the time I just run them back normal but um, you get really good gas coverage through those. So let's see how this uh, aperture is going to work here.
put the other piece, the other side of this thing on. I'm just taking the bumps off here so that it sits down nice. I don't need much, uh, any weld buildup per se on this. looking at the handle right now and how that end kind of goes together. So what I want to do is clamp that. Um, kind of separately. That feels pretty good. Then I'll pull that one down. Uh, stripe up you know these spots here so that's how that was pretty much dead nuts and uh, so I'm gonna go with that alignment and then I'm gonna squeeze this front end down nice and tight here
see what happens with the handle here. Okay, not bad. Kind of warm still. I'm going to do a little tapping on that um, just to get that to close up. So what I'm doing is I'm taking these corners and kind of wrapping them back around so that tightens that whole that whole thing up a little bit. This is neat because you can just get right in there uh, on some of those things and, uh, and, and dink on them. take these big uh, so that last one came out real nice these others are a little bit big so I'm gonna, I don't know, dare I uh, mess around with it it's one of those things you know you gotta decide if you're gonna pursue some things and you can cause uh, more damage or trouble if you if you keep dorking around with stuff sometimes you know there's a point where you're just not gonna you're just not going to do any more good. Alright, well, it's feeling pretty tasty here. I don't like these little blibs here. I'm going to... But I don't want to... Okay, I'll just file them down a little bit. And I'm just taking them down with a mill file here a little bit. Just to get some bulk off of them. So I'm flexing this a little bit. And the reason I'm flexing it is I'm trying to induce a little curve into it so that it's easier to file off the high spot. Shit, I put a lot in that one. The silicon bronze is pretty tough. It's nice stuff. Um, you can pretty much weld anything with it. I did some cast iron hand wheels recently and uh, probably could have done those with silicon bronze too. Although it doesn't color match as good and it looks like a brazing job. Um, I use this nickel 99 rod to do those uh, cast iron hand wheels. Um, but silicon bronze probably would have worked too. Low temperature, uh, similar expansion to cast iron.
It's a good thing I don't charge my mom by the hour, you know. This is uh, going on to an hour here, and uh, even at a buck a minute, that's that's a lot of putty knives. So, <laughs> but this is going to be a nice one, so. Still not quite filed off enough. This last little bit's kind of a pain. Well, 
a lot better than when it showed up here. So it's probably good for another 40 years, or well, more than that. Probably good for another 50 years. I don't know how long they had it, but uh, I think it's going to last longer than they're going to be around. Okay, so welcome back, Docs Tools. I'm Tom. So we finished the uh, the putty knife excursion here, and. Uh, Thank my mom for giving me an interesting project to put up on YouTube. Thanks, mom. And uh, your putty knife's back in uh, back in action for another 40 years. And uh, anyway, here's the final the final deal there. See three little spots there. And there's the other side. So it's still an ugly putty knife. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for watching. I had fun. Uh, it was a fun little job. Talk to you later.